Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and today we will talk about that indicator. So, so far in the last uh, classes, we have discussed that how the control can be generated and then how they have relationship with control with the control objective. I will quickly go through that, that part and then I will come back to that indicator. So here we have a UCF document from the UCF, we are importing the document authority document and then from the authority document, we are importing the citation and it can be gen imported the control objective and uh, either it can be generated or can be created mal uh, manually now bundle with the control ob objective multiple control objective we are bundling and then marking as a policy so these all control objective will be in a part of one policy now in the right side we have entity class entity filter entity type um, attaching this entity class and entity type and entity filter it's generate the entity now, whenever we are uh, attaching policy with the entity type, uh, it is generating the control in a draft state and then uh, replicate, I mean, whatever the entity uh, control equal to uh, entity into control objective. Now, the control is generated from the control objective and control is nothing but the actual implementation of the control. And control have attestation uh, where uh, if you put the negative scenario, it will be generate the issue. If you put the positive uh, response, it will be the controller will be compliant right now. So control and then after that control will be monitor state. In the monitor state, will actually the monitor that everyone is following the rules and regulation or not. So today we'll uh, talk about the indicator. Using the indicator, we'll check that the user or all the other user are following that, um, you know, uh, rules and regulation or not so very first thing is that we have if I type the indicator um, so we have a two module one is the indicator template another is the indicator so what is the indicator template and what is the indicator let's discuss the indicator template is a template that can be uh, applied to the multiple control. So you have a control. If you want to apply similar type of indicator for indicator template for multiple control, you can use the indicator template. But the indicator is the one component which can be applied only one indicator, only one control. Okay. So indicator template is nothing but that um, you know if you want to apply for multiple in uh, control and if you want to apply for only one you need to be go for the indicator. So very first thing we are going to create an indicator and in this indicator you will be able to see the category. Category will be either indicator, control indicator template or the risk indicator template. So we'll select the control indicator template. We have to select the name. So in this case, we'll first go open that policy first. So this was our policy and in this policy, we have a control objective. This is our control objective. And this control objective have seven control. And then this control was compliant. What we'll do here, uh, if I open this, uh, if I see this control objective, what it is saying, the change request cannot be new state more than 30 days. So that's the um, regulation on that we are uh, trying to implement. And based on that, it is generated for one control. So this based on that, it generated one control. For department uh, is the customer support. For the department customer support, this control is generated. Now, what we have to do, we have to create either indicator or indicator template into the monitor state to review either in the daily, we can uh, put the frequency either in the daily or in that monthly to check that the, there should not be any change request which is in the new state more than 30 days we can put the frequency and we can continuously monitor that. So let's create that uh, change monitor. I'll put the name equal to change monitor. Here the description, you can put anything. I'll put the same thing. Here method. Method means we have a, a three type of method, manual, basic, script. Some data cannot be automatically collect from the service. Now in that case, you can put the manual and you can pull the put the manual instruction once you put the manual instruction what will be happen person have to be go through manually like let's see that uh, in our organization everyone is wearing the um, proper t-shirt or not in the weekend 
so that for that we have to go and check the manually right if the data is system in the system in the system if the data is available you can select the basic or you can select the script by that you can check that but in case you don't know that uh, you know how uh, this uh, data will be generated you can select that indicator type equal to many uh, manual in that case you need to put the manual instruction here once you put the manual instruction uh, someone has to be manually perform this action okay so what we'll do i'll i'll simply say let's put first the change uh, equal to manual and then here we'll say that so that might be our condition here in the supporting document you can select the collect um, supporting uh, data you can do that otherwise there is no much function here just submit that and you can see that uh, in the bottom you have a control objective so what we'll do here we'll click edit and select this control so i'll select this one and save that once you save that uh, the, your indicator template is attached to uh, uh, your so one thing you notice that once i click uh, once i add this change request cannot be see the seven indicator is attached we added the control objective and then it have a seven indicator okay why and how it is attached because if i go back to this uh, control objective right now uh, this control this control have a one control objective for well, this is the one and this control objective have a seven um, uh, control if I go back to this control objective it have a seven control right so control indicator template is created to apply all the control objective or all the risk statement so right now we have created uh, you know seven, um, it is attached to the seven indicator right now now if I go back to that, um, this is right now in monitor state and if I open the indicator, indicator have some um, details available, okay, it have a schedule and the next run time is this one, so it will be run in the next day, okay. <clears throat> we can manually execute this indicator and then once we manually execute that, um, you know, this method is the manual, right, it will be generate one, um, indicator task open task so if i execute now so an indicator task will be created so if i refresh that it will be create one indicated task because we selected that manual type so once we select the manual type there will be one indicated task which will be created this indicated task has to be manually uh, you know uh, fulfilled by this description go and check all the change requests are not in new state so we can say that uh, here uh, we can say that pass out and failed based on these our understanding. So we can go and check all the user whoever is wearing to that uh, dress is properly wearing dress or not. By that you can check that. Okay. So once you fill this uh, value pass or fail based on that your actual com uh, control. So your actual control status will be reflected. Okay, so this is the control inside the control we have indicator and indicator generate one indicator task. So this is the control which is have a one indicator and this indicator generate one indicator task as this indicator is the manually. If it was basic or script, it was run automatically and uh, it won't generate any task. So let's say we'll select that fail. Once we select the fail and save that, it means that uh, someone manually verify that and there is a one change is the new state so once we valid uh, once we uh, make that so we set the fail and then we'll uh, set the star uh, you know the state equal to closed once this task is closed one result will be created for that so each and every time there will be one indicator and this indicator will be generated i mean based on the result it will generate one indicator result right now we have indicator result so this is the result which is generated and based on that you can see the status is changes to that compliant to the non-compliant because last status of our this indicator is uh, nothing but uh, fail 
So you can see this indicator we have created and this indicator uh, got fail. Okay, so this indicator got fail because in the in, uh, indicator task we mark as a fail. Once it is moved to the non-compliant state, again it will be generate one issue like the previous one. And this time it will be say that customer support has an indicator fail. It means that in the manual step we set the fail and that's the reason it is generated an issue. An issue has to be I know resolved. So if we select that close complete, there will be a couple of um, um, you know mandatory fill up value you have to fill. So I'll select that. I'll select the remediate and then click OK. And so once we update that, this is right now again go back to the compliance state. So any failure happens to our uh, indic by the indicator, it will be generate an issue and this issue will be assigned to person and then it will be in the uh, compliance state. Now let's change that to that, uh, you know, that indicator to that uh, manual to the basic. We can do one thing in this uh, indicator template. Whenever we created the indicator template, we selected the manual, right? We can override this type by, uh, uh, you know, here you have a override template option. You select that and you can change that type equal to basic. Okay. In the basic, you have to select that uh, count and what is you are looking for. Let's say what count we are looking for. So we'll say the change request cannot be new state more than 30 days, right? So what we'll do, we will uh, select the one, okay? And then uh, if the one data is found, it will be filled. And the supporting document, supporting data, what we'll do, we'll query to the change request table. And then supporting field, we'll select number and state and type. Okay, and here in the condition, we'll put the state. Is new and updated on last 30 days ago. Okay, so we are looking for any change which is in state is new and updated last 30 days. If that is the case, if any of this record is found, will mark as a fail. So let's do that, save that. So right now our, so right now our control is in non-compliant. Okay, and this is our indicator which is overrided by the template. In the template it was in uh, manual, we changed the basic. Now if we execute now, it will be generate one indicator result. So you can see that an indicator result will be created and it take few some time. So once we refresh that, uh, there will be one indicator result here in the bottom. So you can see uh, this indicator uh, is generated now. Okay. So if we open that, so now you can see it's generate one indicator result. So let's open the first one. This indicator result was generated uh, by this first indicator task and it was generate one issue. And then that issue we closed and that's the reason it is in compliant. Next, it is generated one more, uh, uh, one more time. The value is one, I mean target value was one and we got the zero. That's the reason it's not the fail. And once it is not the fail, our, con our control is still in the compliant state. This indicator is generated one more result and it is, I know, uh, it is a compliant. If I execute now, it will be generate uh, one more time, one record indicator result. And until unless there is no failure, this control will be in the compliant state. So you can see there will be one more task will be created. And then this is also come, uh, you know, positive result and this is again uh, it is in compliant state it will be only it will be only moved to the non-compliant if there will be one issue generated in the bottom and the issue will be generated only if the indicator result found any fail now do one thing in the basic criteria i'll remove this last 30 days and now in this case case i am expecting some failure so if i execute now you can see uh, the result value we are expecting one and we got the 22 it means that fail okay 
So it means that the fail means that it will generate, it will be non-compliant state. Again, the control will be non-compliant and there will be one more issue generated. So you can see this issue is generated and it's saying that customer support has an entity, I mean, ind indicator failure. And it will be generated one more time that um, now if I open this here, this is the indicator, I mean, indicator task which is generated. It will be have the supporting data to view that. So it correct or not, it is automatic, whatever data is generated, correct or not. So this is the data which is generated and based. So that's why we can, it, it can be generate the issue and then uh, our main goal is to make the control is compliant. Okay, I want it unless the control is compliant, then our whole system is the compliant. So understand is the diagram. So understand the diagram. So far this control was created in the monitor state and then Finally, this control, uh, once it is in monitor state, uh, what will be happen? It will be attached to the indicator or indicator template. If the indicator is the indicator template is the manually. Uh, so based on the frequency, it will be generated the indicator task and manually has someone has to fulfill that indicator task. If it is automatically, uh, if it is, auto, I mean, if it is set, set as basic or script, it will be generated the, automatically the result. Okay. Either person go back to the indicator task and generate the result or somebody uh, if it is basic or script automatically it will be generate the result. If result is the negative it will be generate an issue again uh, once it is in uh, generate the issue it needs to be remediated and then only it will be compliant otherwise it will be non-compliant okay. Our main motto is that mark the control is compliant it means that our all the rules and regulation is following. So that's it for today. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll talk about the next video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.